We all know that during the winter, some animals such as hedgehogs hibernate until the warmer times come again. Well, recently I've been doing some research and I've found seven other interesting species, which you might not know, also hibernate until the springtime. I'm going to start with one of the most beautiful animals on this list, the peacock butterfly. You might be surprised to hear that they, along with several other species of butterfly, can successfully hibernate as adults throughout the winter. They often do this in small cracks, crevices and tree hollows and will sometimes hibernate in small groups, relying on their camouflaged underwings to stay hidden. This usually lasts from September or October to March or April, but they can emerge if there is a warm spell or if their hibernation site is disturbed. If you're wondering what happens to other butterflies in the winter, a few migrate to warmer places, whereas most pause their development as eggs, caterpillars or chrysalises in what is known as diapause. The next species I want to talk about is the grass snake. Now some of you might know that the long period of dormancy that grass snakes go through during the winter is not technically known as hibernation and is often referred to as brumation instead. The differences between these two definitions, especially here in the UK, are very subtle with brumation usually referring to amphibians and reptiles. Grass snakes enter brumation in October or November sometimes underground among root systems or in rabbit warrens, but also under fallen logs or in compost heaps. They usually emerge in March or April, but it does depend on the weather being warm enough. Next up is a species which you might have thought of when you clicked this video, the hazel dormouse. These small rodents are so well known for their hibernation it's even where their name comes from. Dormouse is thought to derive from the French word dormouse, which means sleeper. They use nests above the ground for breeding during the spring and summer, but will hibernate on or just below the ground in the colder months. This usually lasts from October to March or April, but they can hibernate for longer than this. One successfully hibernated for eight months, from October to May. Signal crayfish are the next species I'm going to show you, but I'm not 100% sure if they actually belong in this video or not. From my research, I found that they do go dormant when the water temperature drops below 10 degrees Celsius, which is for most, if not all of the winter in the UK. But some sources suggest that this isn't true hibernation, without giving any definitive reasons why. During the colder months, they remain almost motionless, either underneath aquatic debris or at the bottom of tunnels which they've dug up to two metres into the bankside. They only emerge once again in the spring when the water temperature increases once more. Next up is the common toad which just like the grass snake, technically brumates instead of hibernates. They have declined in the UK by more than 65% over the past 30 years, and perhaps part of this decline is down to their annual cycle. They hibernate from October to March or early April, usually among leaf litter, in hollows, or sometimes buried in loose soil. When they emerge, they make a mass migration towards their breeding grounds, and this is when they're most vulnerable, mainly to cars and people, but also to predators. The next animal on my list is the common wasp. As summer draws into autumn, worker wasps change their behaviour, and instead of looking for protein-rich foods, they start to search for sugar-rich things instead. This is because at their colony, things are drawing down, there are no larvae to feed, and there is no liquid food for the adult wasps. As the weather gets colder, all of the worker wasps will die, but of course, for the species to survive, some must remain alive, 
and that is down to the fertile queens. They find a secluded place and enter a deep sleep from October until March, April or May. When they emerge, they will begin the construction of a new nest and start the process over again. Interestingly, scientists estimate that their hibernation survival rate is very low, with less than one in every thousand making it through the winter. Next up is a group rather than an individual species, bats. In the UK, there are 18 recorded species of bat, with 17 of them proven to be breeding here. As bats rely on a lot of insects to maintain their aerial, acrobatic lifestyles, in the winter, when these are in short supply, they go into hibernation. Some do this alone, and others in small colonies. They choose undisturbed places, such as caves and underground cavities, although not all of them stay in the UK. Some migrate across the channel to mainland Europe and hibernate there instead. This hibernation lasts from November and they won't be fully active again until May. Although some may emerge during the colder months if there is warm weather or if they are disturbed. That's all of the hibernating animals that are going to feature in this video, but do let me know in the comments down below if there are species that you think I should have included and haven't. Now why don't you stay where you are, all warm and cosy, and check out this British wildlife video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.